Hi, my name is Andy Smith. Welcome to my tutorial for the 2020-2021 TMEA Texas Allstate Etude for the Four Mallet Etude Mystic Fire from Julie Davila's Impressions on Wood. What I love about Impressions on Wood is that all of the selections are so musically gratifying to play. In the case of Mystic Fire, there's a lesson plan included. You can use that content to develop the chordal content as well as the double verticals and the permutation type material that's contained in the piece. In terms of four mallet grip, there are a variety of approaches out there. I play Lee Stevens grip as well as Burton grip, depending on the context. Whatever grip that you use, I encourage you to really study it in depth to uh, observe top practitioners and learn the mechanics of the grip in addition to the proper way to construct it. In terms of sound, I think of lifting, putting my energy into lifting the sticks, and then primarily letting gravity and the weight of the mallets take care of the downward part of the stroke. From there, you can use weight and velocity and experiment with those elements. In terms of different kind of expression in your music. The sticks that I'm using are the Innovative Percussion 513 from the William Mersch series. The 503 has always been a go-to for me. And the 513 is similar to that mallet with this awesome updated yarn. The combination of this yarn and wrap with the synthetic core makes this a really dynamic mallet. This model, the 513, is hard enough for the energy involved in Mystic Fire. It can be dark and warm, and it can be bright when you dig in or when you're playing in the higher register of the instrument. Mystic Fire consists of three major sections. Discover the character and mood of each section, and also perform appropriate and smooth transitions between them. In the beginning, use accents to convey style and forward motion. I choose to play the melody in the left hand and later in the right using single alternating strokes. That flows for me and minimizes lateral arm motion, but you could certainly be effective as well playing those melodies just with one stick. That'll come up again later in the 12-8 section, and same idea. Not too much dynamic contour is needed in that first section. The accents kind of propel things along, keeping forward motion. Play measure 18 in time. However, I like to pull back just a little bit on the eighth note chords preceding it. And I give a little energy boost at the beginning of each of those permutation type measures uh, to feel organic and expressive with it, but making clear the rhythmic relationship between the 16th notes, the 8th note triplets, and the 8th notes. In the middle section, marked slower with feeling, you can be expressive and use some flexible time. Take note of all of the score indications, including dynamics, hairpins, and expressive text. Be sure to look up any of those words if you don't understand them. And uh, keep in mind that in this case, Julie Davila, the composer, had something in spe specific in mind with each of those expressive texts. Here is a fun practice strategy for this cool lick that happens beginning in measure 34. Try improvising rhythm over the content.
I feel like having some fun and, and improvising, making it a little bit different every time gives me some command over the material that I can bring to bear in the final expression of it. Take note too at measure 55 toward the end, there is a major sixth in the left hand that's played with a triple lateral. That interval and technique is not used elsewhere in the piece. In the 12 8 section, set up a nice groove. Do you know that 7 plus 5 is 12? The 12 8 measures, once the melody comes in, sets up these groups of 2 and 3 that's continued through the 5 8 bars. So just think of those in terms of groups of two and three. I do think it's important to understand all of those meters. There's a four, eight, six, eight transition and feel the 12, eight with the dotted quarter pulse. However, once you have a firm grasp on all of that, then you can think in terms of melody and phrasing. Have some fun with Mystic Fire. It's a great piece. Good luck.